yellow, red, even blue. Who knew frogs came in so many colors? You usually only see these rare species in a zoo or aquarium, but one Maryland man has hundreds in his very own collection. Sean Stewart has turned his passion for amphibians into a business. As you can see, he breeds the creatures just outside his Ellicott City home. Fox 5's John Hanrahan hopped over today for a closer look. In a little red barn in Howard County, Maryland, it's feeding time. Sean Stewart is feeding his amazing collection of very colorful frogs. These frogs have evolved colorfully to remind predators to look elsewhere for a meal. Now, in the wild, these frogs eat insects which feed on alkaloid-based plants. It's very poisonous. The poison is magnified in the insects, and the frog itself becomes poisonous. Since Sean Stewart feeds his frogs flies and crickets, his brilliantly colored frogs are not poisonous and therefore are in great demand by collectors who can watch them easily because they're social daytime creatures. And then the male will actually court the female in a series of dancing and snout rubs. Successfully fertilized eggs lead to tadpoles, which then lead to a new generation of brilliantly colored frogs, which Sean Stewart sells worldwide. Purchasers include collectors and research institutions. This is not only one of the largest frog farms in the world. Sean Stewart also raises exotic snakes called green tree pythons. His brother Christian here is aiding a snake who's about to hatch from an incubated egg. It's always the most nerve-wracking part. What is Cutting the egg and not wanting to cut, you know, part of the tail or any part of the snake, of course. Depending on their color, the snakes, once grown, can be worth thousands of dollars. The frogs go for a lot less. But all of these very colorful creatures got their start in a little red barn in Howard County, Maryland. John Henrahan, Fox 5 News. Tell you what, I'm not really a fan of the creepy crawly stuff, but they were beautiful. Yeah, so many really colors. Are. Yeah, very interesting. You'd have to go to many other countries to see that other than here. That's true. In fact, some of the biggest research institutions and zoos in our country rely on Sean Stewart's frog farm. If you'd like a link to his enterprise, head to myfoxdc.com and click on web links. Keep